All right, guys, Bobby Moretti back. Uh, surviving sports picks, SSP for short to some. Um, just going to do another short couple videos tonight just to continue to talk some sports. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of clean up a little bit at the end there from the Big East. So at the end of the day, guys, um, <clears throat> I the way I would have saw it was... Um, I would think that there would be five teams getting in from the Big East. It would have been Creighton, it would have been Villanova, it would have been Seton Hall, it would have been Providence and Butler. I think Marquette, Xavier, St. John's, Georgetown, and uh, DePaul uh, would have got the short end of the stick. Uh, yesterday, I forgot to mention my guy. They lost, I told you, six games before the end of the schedule. Got to give a shout out to Pat Ewing. Uh, a lot of guys don't think he played up to his uh, potential. Uh, being a New Yorker and uh, playing for the Knicks, I I love Pat. Uh, night in, night out, I was always rooting for Pat. I think he won the national championship as a freshman, lost in 85 to Ed Pinckney from the Bronx uh, and Villanova. Uh, the old Raleigh Massimino days, if you guys or any of you guys remember. Um, yeah, so they were 15 and uh, 13 at the time when they got beat by Xavier. And uh, I think that was the backbreaker for, for Pat. And uh, so I think um, Marquette, Xavier, uh, St. John's, uh, Georgetown, and, and DePaul uh, got the short end of the stick. And Creighton, Villanova, Seton Hall, Providence, and Butler got in. Now, taking those uh, five teams there, I don't think anybody makes the Final Four. Um, I think uh, Seton Hall having the one guy uh, that might have been a first-round pick they were kind of pubbing him all year. I think Seton Hall makes the deepest run into the tournament, probably. And or maybe, uh, maybe uh, you know, uh, I don't know. It, it's close there because Providence was a dark horse. They came on at the end of the year. They were they were riding them. Uh, Vegas was ri riding them. And uh, obviously Butler at 22-9 and nine overall, but 10-8 and eight in the conference if they win a couple games and then make a little run uh, in the tournament. That would have been a, ended up being a decent year for Butler. But I think, uh, and Creighton at 24 and seven, winning a couple games in the tournament, you know, I think, uh, you know, they might've won a couple as well, them and Butler and, and Providence. But I think at the end of the day, I don't think any of those teams, I think Villanova gets knocked out after probably a game or two like last year. Though I think it was the second game of the year. They get beat by Virginia, I'm not quite sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, Villanova gets knocked out as well. And so I'm playing those guys according to the to brackets, and I'm seeing how it plays. But I don't see myself having any of those teams uh, get into the Final Four. So that's a kind of a little bit of a summary. Um, I made one little mistake there. It wasn't Providence. I said lost a big Slovakian guy. I corrected myself as the video went on. It was Seton Hall. And so they had lost, if I was saying, if they had lost a couple games in a row, they were losing a, their second leading score on a team. So they take a hit. We talk all the time about NBA guys not playing a certain night. Me personally, I don't think it makes much of a difference. I think it's the way everything, the, the ebb and flow is going um, up to that point and, and, and how it's playing that night with what was going on up to that point, so to speak. And, uh, you know, I've taken many games with Philadelphia and stuff, for example, Sixers, where Simmons was out, Embiid was playing, vice versa, both at the same time. Even at one time, I think the other third, third guy there, I forget his name, um, their, other, their, 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 their third best player there, I should know his name, but I, it slips my mind right now. Um, all three weren't playing. I took them one night and they won. So to me, it's, a, it's, it's not really a big deal. Um, but at the end of the day, um, if anybody made the Final Four out of the Big East, it would have been Seton Hall, I think. Um, and at one point, I kind of had him. Not, not had him, but had him having a chance with that one score and maybe making a run because uh, they hadn't had a decent club in a long time. And I, um, um, I thought they, uh, they might have had a shot. But uh, and I'm going to give you my Final Four, um, uh, my top five teams um, in the next video. Uh, that I I, 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 I was kind of waiting for the brackets to come out to see where where, where they were where they were going to lay these teams out and I'll give you an idea of what I saw 
and what I was looking at going in. Um, yeah, so that's the Big East. Um, and, the, and the other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was, you know, me personally, as the season goes along, I look at these teams. I look at small schools. I look at mid-majors. Um, and I look at big time schools because look at what happened this year with Dayton. Dayton, Dayton definitely could have won it all. I don't think they were going to win it all. I think they had a chance to get to the finals, but Dayton was is a mid major, but they had a great team. They, they, uh, and I look at teams when I look at these teams early on in the year, throughout the whole year, early part of the year, the middle part of the year, and and and. And, and into the the end of the year, and into the tournament tournament play, and into the into the NCAA uh, uh, bracket tournament. Um, I look at different kinds of clubs. We all know that you're looking for shooters, three point shooters. You're looking at guy. I look at teams that are long and lengthy. You know, got a big man in the middle, down in the blocks, but they're long. They might have a long guard. Uh, you know, Vern Fleming, uh, Vernon Maxwell type guy. Um, just a long, lean guy at the point, um, you know, a two guard and maybe a guy or two down the blocks, a rebounder, uh, a couple rebounders, shot blockers, guys that run the floor. Guy, I'll give you a typical team that usually runs the floor, a team like Houston. Um, you know, you got teams like Florida State um, and teams like that, you know, um, Kansas, um, Maybe not, maybe not has been as long, but but a team like Kansas that pushes the ball. Uh, you were looking at teams out west. You know, you were kind of looking at Colorado at one time. You were kind of looking at Oregon at one time. I don't think they had the horses. Uh, I think Louisville was over overrated. Um, Auburn, I think, uh, had a good year last year. This year, I didn't think they was as good. They were they were pub. They didn't lose a lot of guys. Tennessee, same type of team. I uh, I saw those two teams fizzling. I don't think I don't even know if Tennessee was going to get in. I'd have to go back when I was looking at it every night. I could tell you, but you know, a couple months have gone by now. I don't even think Tennessee was going to get in, probably. Um, or if they did get in the back door, they weren't making a run. Um, and then you had other teams. Obviously, you had Duke. You had Kentucky. I didn't think it was going to be Duke's year. I don't think it was going to be Kentucky's year. Uh, I don't think it was. I think all Florida. I think Florida was overrated the whole season. Uh, Texas Tech had the good year last year. I think they were overrated this year. Uh, Baylor, I think, was going to fizzle. I don't think Baylor. I don't think Baylor had the horses. Um, but uh, I'll continue with a little more of that as we go along here with these videos. Um, um, so you know we'll go over some more we'll go over some uh some more of the smaller teams that i rode all year um there was a lot of good smaller teams mid-major teams this year that that had a chance to make a move i think it might have been one of those years where we might have saw some upsets um it was going to be real interesting virginia national champs um okay so you got teams that run the floor then you got teams like virginia that lock down they play defense they don't score a lot of points you got some lockdown teams like uh old rick patino teams at louisville kentucky anywhere he was going back to the providence days with billy donovan uh billy donovan the old florida coach made the rounds did well at florida a couple national championships i think i had him one year back in 2001 or whatever it was i picked him to win it I think I was one of a few people in the country. I don't know what the percentage was that we that we won that brat that we won the national that picked the national championship. I had Florida. Um, I had them one year going to the Final Four. I think prior to that, where they didn't win it, and nobody had them. I had them both times. No, not many people did. Um, so I, I, you know, so I do well there too. I do well in in in, in the NCAA, and, and, and I've had many tremendous brackets. A lot of times we blow a bracket up, but hey. You make round up, and you, you still have some of the horses down the stretch and in that bracket. And, 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 and overall, I end up, uh, you know, having tremendous percentages in my brackets. So you got those uh, Patino teams, full court press type teams, but could still run the floor, could still shoot, still got a big man down low. He's had some national championship teams where he's, you know, had the best team in the country, and he put together a great squad. So. You know, I look for a bunch of different things, and uh, that all plays in. 
the knowledge, the gift, you know? So, um, yeah, um, just a reminder again, go hit that bell, man. If you haven't hit that bell, I'm up into the 50s. Um, been about seven days, got a little over 53 people, a little over 50 people, about 53 people, 54 people. Um, appreciate the guys that have done that for me. It means more to me, man. You don't even know, guys. I mean, I know this is small potatoes. I'm a small sports cabin guy, but I got to grind it out, man. I got to grind it out. You know how they censor us in the, and YouTube, uh, you know, forces a guy like me with an iPhone and an iPad, no computer to have to grind it out and get a thousand subs. You know, it takes two minutes, man. You know, I spent a lot of time with guys. I, I and, and I am in the future and with new people and, and, and my old guys. I'm going to, I always gave everybody ample time. You got to hit that bell, man. I appreciate the guys that have taken the time to hit the bell and guys that haven't. Come on, man. If I, if I had a quarterback for every, if I had a quarter back for money uh, back for every beer I bought somebody in my day, I, I'd be retired. I mean, take the, take two minutes to, to hit the bell, man. Give me a thumbs up if you want, if you appreciate the video. If you don't, I told you, kick my butt and give me the thumbs down. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm not going to force anybody, anybody to do anything, but I am going to give a, give a shout out to the bell. You know, my YouTube channel is going to get more professional as we go on. I'm going to have different content. But like I said, the sports is going to be the main thing. I'm going to be live. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to introduce a super chat. So we have another forum. I'm going to take time to talk to everybody on those, uh, on that forum where we can go over games. You can throw anything at me you want. I'll siphon everything. I'll take everything in. I'll give you, I'll give you things on the fly. I'll be at the casinos live. Anybody has any questions that they need to be answered. I'm going to be your guy to go, go to. I'm going to be your go-to guy. I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to be like a rover reporter, man. This kind of stuff interests me, man. I, I like building it from the ground up. It doesn't bother me, man. You know, I took a hit on my Patreon. I mean, I had up over 120, 25, 30 subscribers. I've taken a beating, man. I've gotten my ass kicked with this blackout and this virus, man. And all that work I did, I'm, I, I got nothing. But, you know, that's not what it's, you know, I love doing this, man. I love it. I told you guys, and I'm going to bounce back. I ain't going down, man. I ain't going down. Rocky Balboa, you know what I mean? Uh, Joe Frazier, I'm not going down. In Manila, you know, I'm not going to Philippines. I'm not going down. I got my boys Leaf and these guys and Swaggy and Nitty. Shout out to you guys. Aaron, Botch, uh, Storm. You know, I ain't going down. Mondo, Tron. You know, if I forget anybody here, JDE. You know, we got the Discord going, JDE. You know, you all you guys, I'm sure you're all going to come back. And if you don't, I understand. There's other guys out there, man. Have at it. Hey, we got free will here, bro. I mean, you know, a lot of guys are deep into the numbers. And, you know, a guy like Zach's got the numbers. <clears throat> He's a mathematician. He's got the Derek. They're all good guys. Simple. They, 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 they study this stuff. I, 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 I've been awake a long time, bro. My, my knowledge is priceless. I could identify with anything. We could talk about the uh, Fabian Society. We could talk about the Franklin Society. We could at, at Columbia. We could talk about the CFR, the Tavistock. We could talk about Tavistock. We could talk about the military, uh, the military end of it. Uh, you know, uh, um, we could talk about the Eastern Indian Company. We could talk about anything you want to talk about. You know, chemtrails. We could talk about. We could talk about AI. We could talk about uh, vaccines. We could talk about uh, all this propaganda, chemtrails, AI, nanobodies. I'm on top of all this stuff, man. I've been awake a long time. Military uh, Institute. You know, the military. I'm losing my train of thought with the military. The military complex. I mean, I, I go back a long ways. I was awake before I stumbled upon Zach. Zach's got the, the, the Gematria crowd, the community. I mean, there's a difference between the horse community and these guys that... I'll send out a picture of a guy my son got at a casino. He's, he's got his glasses on and his pen <clears throat> and his, scat, his, his scratch pad. And numbers are important. But I am I'm, I explained in the last video where I come from and what I'm cut from. And so I'm going to get back to you guys. I'm going to cut this short under 15 minutes and, and and those guys' communities are huge, but I I I, I got well with sports being black, I got no content, I got no games, I can't. If I had games, I'd be deadly. I mean, I'd have tons of things to talk about. So you're going to be able to talk to me on the fly. We're going to have a lot of fun, man. And it's not begging. It's just it's going to we're going to we were having a lot of fun, and we're going to continue to have a lot of fun. So I got to get live. You got to hit that button. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.